Good afternoon, my Bahamian people. Over the past few days, I have observed from various FNM quarters the attempt to put lipstick on a pig by perpetuating the narrative that the FNM, and by extension, the competent authority, should be congratulated for where we now find ourselves in the COVID fight. I am here to tell you that their assessment of the reality will not stand up to the scrutiny of the Bahamian people. Because we the people, and not some outside organization relying on data fed to them by this lying FNM government, felt the brunt of oppression, heavy-handedness, lack of compassion, heartlessness, ruthlessness, bad decisions, and the inequitable application of the emergency orders under this FNM government throughout this pandemic. For example, we know that it could not have been data-driven science that led to crowding at the food stores, shutting down of specific businesses, closing of the beaches, and the organized display of heartlessness that led the authorities to arrest, detain, and put before the courts those of our most vulnerable citizens while they struggled to survive. We know that to allow a privileged resident to return home to bury her dog while ordinary Bahamians were on lockdown, unable to even step into the street outside of their home, was a ruthless display of hatred for the Bahamian people. We also know that the opening of our borders on July 1st, without having the proper protocols in place, was a deadly decision made by the competent authority, which caused many of our fellow citizens to die of COVID-19. We know, and we will not forget. If the numbers are indeed correct, and we are on the cusp of victory against the COVID fight, I say congratulations to the Bahamian people who, despite being beaten down, degraded, and who must now be feeling defeated, have endured this lousy, lackluster, looney tune government for three plus years. I say congratulations to the healthcare professionals who have put in work and achieved great things despite not having adequate tools or compensation. To you, I say, job well done. Finally, to the FNM and its apologists, propagandists, paid political trolls, I say, when things go wrong, you blame the Bahamian people. And when things are perceived to go right, you pat yourselves on the back. Well, remember, you cannot have your cake and eat it too.